Yo, what's up guys, Sean here, aka I'm a flying midget, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get creative mode in Lumber Tycoon 2. Yeah, boy, so guys, this is legit. I'm not like kind of messing around with this. It's like the closest thing to creative mode you're going to get in Lumber Tycoon 2. Um, and uh, and it's legit. It's no mods, no hacks, none of that stuff. And I, I actually really want to make this video because not only am I going to be showing you guys how to do this, guys, but this was actually, and no joke on this, this was actually my idea for this to be added into the game. Not not Defaultio's, um, even though he obviously did it because he's the one who made the game. And, Thank God he did, and much love, Josh. Seriously, much love, man. Um, but this was actually my idea, guys. I came to Defaultio, and I said, hey, look, dude, we need a freaking creative mode in this game. Um, and uh, and so he put it in. So this is me. So I don't know. Some other Lumber Tycoon YouTubers have been talking all this kind of like, I don't know. Um, I can't get this thing to go in right now, and I'm losing my freaking mind. Um but, uh, yeah, a lot of other Roblox Lumber Tycoon YouTubers are saying all this kind of rumors behind this and whatever. Um, guys, I'm going to tell it to you straight. I literally would, I messaged Josh on Twitter and I was like, Devaltio, and I was like, yeah, why are you not going in? I'm losing my mind. There we go. Um, and I literally was like, yo, dude, we need this. And he added it in, and um, there's a little secret way to do it, which I'll be showing you guys how I do it today. Um, so, yeah, so I don't want any kind of, like... Like rumors rolling around, and literally it's just this like awesome way so we can start building. Um, I'm going to show you kind of where we're at. You're going to need to do some long plank. So if you've never long plank before in Lumber Tycoon, basically the way I do it, I set my my uh, sawmill to 1.4 on the X and 0.4 on the Y, and then you got to kind of have it a little sloping up here right here. So I, I don't know if you still need the them sloping up, but I do it anyway. And it'll make a really 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 long plank for you. And um, here I'll hop in. Um, I'll hop in here. Are you you want to drive on over? All right, no, rip, rip the dream. All right, so I'm going to let that thing cook, and um, it's going to take a little while, and I'll show you guys kind of where we're at. So right now, my base is loaded, and in the corner, we've got um, – I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to show you guys as best as possible. So this is where you go in for the snow biome right here. So – and good thing that long plank is still there. So here's where you go in for the snow biome. This is where, like, you'd, you'd break the little things and go through or whatever. So just to the left of that. So where you go into the snow biome, just go to the left. Um, I'm going to bring one of these up if I'm going to roll up here. You're going to need a long plank, a really big one. So I did a really big one right here, or you can do two of them. And, um, and I'll show you when I get up here. But I just do one really big one because it's just I think it's easier. But, um, yeah, so you can either do one big one here, or you can do one to that one, and then one over there. And then it'll kind of take you around to this corner. So the items you guys are going to need, you're going to need some sort of light source. Like, I'm, I'm grabbing pumpkins, and I got some other light sources already over here. You're going to need some light sources. So... And it's important. Like, I'm not joking. You need some light sources, okay? Um, uh, you, you could probably get away with just one or two, but I'm going to grab a few because we've got a few dudes. And some dudes actually trapped in here. Now, when you guys first join in on a server, you are not going to see this hole here. So, there's going to be a little rock covering it. Something that looks kind of like that. It's just going to look like a little rock. All you got to do is go grab some TNT, bring it up here, detonate the TNT right next to it. It's going to open up that hole. Um, and then that's what we're going to be going into and getting uh, unlocking our creative mode. You're also going to need $10 million. So right now, uh, my money is only at $8.2 million, and it's because my money is, is bugged and glitched. And, and I was going to wait for Defaultio to kind of fix this, but I was like, you know what? I, I just want to get this video out because you guys have been tweeting me, and everyone's been going nuts. Like, yo, Midget, there's this new feature in the game. You got to do a video on it. So I was like, all right, I got to get this video out as soon as I can. Even though I'm not going to be able to actually buy creative mode today, um, I'm going to explain what it actually is because there's lots of rumors going around of what it actually does. Um, and I'm going to kind of explain all that. And I also don't want this to be a super long video because ain't nobody got time to watch like a freaking hour long video so why don't um I'm, there's gonna be loads of cuts and i'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible um but it is a, a long process and you are gonna need probably some friends to help you out i'm gonna try to do it solo dolo today with just the dudes on the server just my homies on the server but you are gonna need another long plank um so i'm gonna kind of grab this one over here i'm not entirely sure how long this needs to be i haven't actually done this myself now i just know it's implemented in the game i know what you kind of have to do just because um I was talking to Defaultio and everything about it. Um, and you are going to need a long plank down in the hole. I don't know how big. I don't know. We're going to see if this one does it. It, it might take us a little while. But like I said, I'm going to be editing the video um, to make it so you guys don't have to freaking watch a super long video. So I'm going to take this guy up here. And when you guys are long planking, just a little strategy. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't long. Oh, oh, oh. That, exactly that right there. Oh, it almost didn't fall down. Um, when you're long planking. 
things bug like crazy. I mean, they get so glitchy and everything. So um, the best way to carry them is to look up and hold it completely straight like this. And this guy is really swaying right now. Um, and then when it starts shaking too much, you want to just stop moving. And hopefully it doesn't bug out. Wow, this one is really moving a ton. You really don't want it to move a ton like this. Oh, because then that happens. Because then that happens. Okay, so like this would be a great cut to where I get it up there. All right, finally got this bad boy up here. And again, this one might be a little too long for what we actually need. But first, I'm going to go ahead and just start dropping in all my light sources. I've got tons. I really, you probably don't need this much. If you're doing it alone or with like one other person, if you each have a light source, that's pretty much all you really need. But I kind of want to make this video so you guys can actually see everything going on in there because I know it can be tough to do something just by watching a video and not actually doing it yourself. So we're going to go ahead and just drop this in here. Please don't glitch. I'm going to just try to tease it nice and easy. Don't glitch. Okay. And you got to kind of finagle it down here. So um, it's it's not very easy. Josh Defaulto did not make this super easy to do. So I'm going to try it. There we go. Okay, got that bad boy in there. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it all the way, this massive piece, all the way in here. So I might have to chop it a little bit. I don't want to. Oh, man, all the dudes are in here. All right, dudes, 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 dudes. Um, so I don't want to chop it if I don't have to, but... Um, if I, I might, I might honestly have to. So, um, I'm going to try to get this bad boy down. It's going to be a little tough. Let's see. Should I just try to, let's see. Let's give it like a quick little, please don't glitch. Please don't glitch. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to actually need to chop it, which I think is fine. Cause I think I ended up going like way too big anyway. So I'm going to chop it here. I, I wanted to go bigger than smaller just in case. Um, let's see if I can get this guy unstuck. There we go. Oh, don't glitch. I think it is still just way too massive. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and actually chop it right there. Chopper again. I should have actually really just cut it in half, and that way we had, like, two big pieces. Um, that is actually what I should have done. But let's see. Can you please just go? Oh, come on. Come on. All right, so I'm going to try to finagle this thing down, dudes. I'll be right back. Okay, so I chopped it into a bunch of different pieces, and we could probably hopefully, I mean, hopefully just use all the pieces. Like, look at all those pieces I threw down there. Um, so this is a massive area in here, guys. Now, let me do my best at explaining where you need to go. Now, it's really hard to explain, oh, if you follow a path, that's where you kind of need to go. I'm going to actually take a light source with me first so you guys can actually see where we're going. Um, the best way to describe where you need to go is honestly just look up. Okay, it's not like a super insane path maze thing and you need a map to find it. Honestly, just walk around the caves down here, keep looking up, and I'll show you what you need to be looking for. So um, I'm just going to keep walking around. I don't really see anything yet. So I'm going to keep going this way, and um, basically what you're trying to find is, I don't think this is the way, because you don't really need to do any parkour just yet. You don't need to do any parkour just yet. Yeah, so this is not the way. So you just got to keep keep walking around until you find what you're looking for is basically a, a hole up in kind of by the ceiling. So I'm just going to keep, kinda, again, I, I don't, don't think of this as like it's a maze and you need to find out where to go. Um, seriously, just think of it as uh, just literally walk around. You don't need to do any parkour, like I said. Don't need to do any parkour. Just kind of walk around and, uh, and keep looking up. Grab a light, keep looking up, and the hole is pretty noticeable once you find it because it's like a really flat kind of... Um, kind of roof and then all of a sudden you just see like a hole so I'm gonna actually kind of walk you to the hole because I don't want you guys to kind of feel like I just kind of left you and you can't find down here so here's the ladder right here and then you just got to go I guess to the right of the ladder so I'm gonna actually just drop some pumpkins um, I'll leave one like right there I'm gonna drop some pumpkins to kind of light up the pass so you guys can see it a little better but um, it's not as hard as you think literally like after just don't go that way that way is just kind of like nothing And you go this way and it's literally I mean just come down here for a little bit and you guys will realize it's really not that hard so I'm gonna kind of just throw that pumpkin right there and that way you've just got a little bit of a little bit of a light it, it's really hard for me to make this video guys because it's just so dark down here it's so dark down here um but all right, so yeah, so there's, we're walking from the ladder now to the right, and you literally just follow this path. I mean, like I said, you don't jump up on anything, you don't really do anything, um, and then I'll kind of show you. So here we go over here, so um, I'm pretty sure it's to the left. You, like I said, you don't do a whole lot of jumping on things. Um, and then we come over here, and it should be, hopefully, this will be awkward if it's not, but it should be up here somewhere, up, if my light will actually work. It should be this way right here. Um, come on, light. Come on, light. Maybe this way? Maybe this way? No. It's it's in these tall ceilings. That's why we've got the um that's why we've got the, the long plank. There it is right there. Okay, so there's the hole you're looking for. So it's very noticeable when, when it's a flat wall and then you see a hole, that's where you want to go. So basically our job is to get up into that hole. So what I'm gonna do is um I'm gonna leave this light right here and kind of just 
I guess, have it there so I, I know where to go. And what you're going to want to do is you want to go back and get your, uh, I guess I'll leave this light over here so I can see it a little better. But that's kind of the benefit of having lots of lights on here. You don't need them if you know the way. But if you don't know the way, lots of lights can be helpful. So I'm going to go back, grab a long plank, and then we're going to try to work our way up there. Alright guys, so I'm actually on top of it now, and it's just taking a little while, and I was trying to get these guys, uh, these guys were helping me out, I don't know why I'm getting that air still, um, let's see if I can get Dea up here, oh, sorry dude, I'm trying to, oh, there we go, get up, get up, get up, get up, there we go, alright, I'm gonna grab this plank, we don't need it, but I'm gonna grab it anyway, uh, back up dude, oh, come on! Come on! Ah, oh, that's right, we're good, alright, so we don't really need the plank anyway, that I, that I remember, but, let me explain to you kind of how we did it, guys. So, um, basically, uh, you 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 don't need two people. Now, it's very helpful when you have two people because you kind of saw we were doing that. Dale would kind of hold the plank going slanted upwards, and I would jump on his head and then jump on the plank, get up here, and then get in, and then I would hold the plank so he could jump up. And um, and that's kind of how you do it. Yeah, you can have multiple planks. Like, we've got all those planks over there. You could probably do, like, some sort of little, um, little stacking thing to get them up, but... That was just an easy and kind of effective way to do it. Um, but just your main goal is to get up on top of here, guys. Use the long planks. Get creative. It's it's just kind of a pain in the butt. If I was literally sitting here while we were trying to do that, it, this would be like a ridiculously long video. And uh, and I didn't want it to be a super long video. So make sure you have a light source because literally without this light source, it is completely pitch black up here. So, um... We're gonna go. We're gonna go through here. I've never been through this little tunnel. Now this is where things get good. You see the purple light over here, guys. Once you're up, the hardest part is getting up. And boom! Welcome to the stranger, guys. Welcome to the strange man. This guy. I was. I was hoping. I'm not mad because I'm just glad that Defaultio added this guy into the game. But. He should have been named, like, I'm a flying midget or, like, midget's minion or something because this was legit my idea, guys. I'm not even joking. My idea. So, um, you can chat with the strange man, and he says, I can grant you the power to build with ease. The cost is $10,009,000. I wish I had that in my balance, but, like, these, these dudes can't send me money. Um... And, uh, and so, yeah, so that, let me, let me explain to you kind of what that does. Actually, get, let, I'm gonna actually try to get this sorted and, um, and money in my account so we can buy this, so give me two secs. Never mind, rip the dream, it's gonna be way too hard. I'm just gonna try to get Josh to hook me up, cause it's, it's just gonna be ridiculous cause of the, the money cap and everything. But, if you do have ten million nine thousand dollars um, there's other ways to do it where you can cheat the money cap. I don't know, it's just a pain. It, there shouldn't be a money cap now, I think, in my opinion, just cause this item in the game is 10 mil but anyway um you can get this i don't have enough money full return when you have sufficient funds um but uh not enough extra yeah okay i'm not gonna buy all that spend all that robux on this right now because that would be like a ridiculous amount of robux but basically this guy will give you the the power to build with ease guys and uh and i'm gonna explain what that is because no one really knows what it is right now um i think for the most part uh, so what, what Devaltia and I agreed on, which I don't even know if this is like how it is because I'm not able to test it just yet because I don't have the money in my account. This is also new guys. This literally just came out. Um, but basically the way it's supposed to work is when you buy this from the strange man, uh, he's got no face. What's up, dude? But when you buy it from the strange man, basically every blueprint in the game, no matter what it is, countertops, whatever the heck it is, guys, um, every blueprint in the game that you place down can be filled with your your choice of wood for only one unit of wood. So say a, a kitchen, let's let's look. So let's say, I know that the countertops take ridiculous amount of stuff. So what is it in? It's in wedges, no, furniture, here we go. So these things take like a ridiculous amount. Um, And oh, is it not going to tell me right now? Oh man. All right, so we can't see, but it's like, it's like ridiculous. I mean, it's like, I don't know, 30 units of wood or something. Like, I don't know what it is, but something crazy, right? All that would literally only take one unit of wood. So what you can do... Is take your wood that would take, I mean, these walls that we were making, these walls right here, um, they're like eight units of wood or something like that. And it's just freaking ridiculous. So what you could do is now you get a big piece of wood and you can bust it up into one unit. And I'll show you what one unit is when we go out, um, 
when we get out of here, but you get into one unit of woods, and basically you can just, you save so much wood, and you can build so much better, and this is what I've been waiting for in Lumber Tycoon 2, guys. I've been waiting for this feature for so long, and I'm so glad that Defaultio actually agreed to add it into the game. Much love, dude. I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, so now the next thing I gotta do is just get 10 million in my, in my balance, and, uh, and come back over here and buy this thing and do that whole thing again, which will be a huge pain in the booty, but, um, yeah, I'm glad it's a thing. I hope you guys can use this this technique to kind of do it. Again, you need a light source up here because it's ridiculously dark. I haven't even kind of explored what's off into this area. I'm kind of like scared. Am I going to be able to jump back up on there? If I start that long plank, I probably, you know, whatever. We could reset. Uh, so there's really nothing over here. Is that is that how that works? Yeah, so nothing over here. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's a cool uh, it's a cool little way to add it in. It's it's, it's not as hard as you think it would be. Um, it is, it's not easy. I will tell you that. It's not easy. This part right here with the wood is a pain in the booty. Um, but uh, if, if you can, honestly, if I would have brought over more planks, I could have kind of held the plank a little bit higher up and we probably would have been able to do this a lot easier. But, um, yeah, with friends, it makes it easier. That was kind of nice of the dudes on the server. Shout out to the homies on the server for helping me out. My homie Dea, who really helped us out, just left. So that's kind of a bummer. But. Yeah, um, and I thought about kind of exploring this area a little more. You guys can explore it a little more. I doubt there's anything else in here, um, mainly just because I know that Defaultio just is very busy and probably hasn't added anything else in here yet. But I'm glad he added in this feature, and this is kind of like the way to do it, guys, and you can actually come back out. I don't know if the, um, actually, I should grab this, because this will be easier to see. But um, I'm not sure Defaultio actually... Um, added anything else in this area i really doubt there's anything else again this is so new but uh but yeah more light sources the better guys you're gonna need again a couple pumpkins which would be nice these lights if you don't have pumpkins these lights do, do the job just fine um you're gonna need some tnt to blow up that initial kind of rock area i wish i could have showed you guys that but someone already blew it up on the server very simple though very 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 simple and uh and yeah and you gotta have a little bit of time wait where where am i going i'm already lost oh there it is i'm like where am i going um and you gotta have a little bit of time guys so this probably all in all took me about uh i'd say about an hour and a half i'd say it took me about an hour and a half to do everything like literally get the long planks going um, explore the area, kind of get it all figured out. Come on, light. Come on, light. Work with me. I really don't need this light, but I'm just, I just want you guys to not look at, okay, you know what? Forget about it. Oh, maybe I do need the light. Holy cow. I didn't realize how dark this was. Holy, okay, let's grab a pumpkin. Let's just grab this. I didn't realize how dark that was up there. Holy cow. Um, come on, come on, come on. I, I've walked up this with a light before, so I know it, no, come on. Come on, man. How are you going to do that to me? Maybe I can, can you do it backwards? This isn't Minecraft, Midget. Come on. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, worst case, if I don't get this in, like, the next two tries, I'm legit just going to go, um, I'm gonna legit just going to reset and lose my axes and whatever. But, um, but yeah, so I wanted to show you guys this. Again, I wanted to clear up a lot of other things that was kind of, like, rumors that were circling around in the Lumber Tycoon community because of some other YouTubers putting stuff out. Um, so, yeah, so I hope that, uh, come on. Rip the dream, boys. Rip the axes. Rip the axes, boys. But, yeah, I really just want to get this video out. I'm sorry. I tried to get it out earlier, but I was kind of waiting for my money to thing kind of be sorted and couldn't get it sorted, so I was kind of mad about that. But let me show you guys how great this feature is. So, let's say gold wood. Ridiculously hard. Not ridiculously hard, but ridiculously annoying to get, right? Well, look, you throw it through this guy, which is just set on a one-by-one, one, and let me show you what it would take to literally build. And this is legit. I mean, no mods, nothing, and I promise you this works and everything. Um... I'm just kind of mad I'm not able to show it today because I don't have a... I wouldn't have 10 mil for you guys, but basically... Oh, I don't have an axe. I need to pick up an axe. Let's do I have any axes laying around over here? Nah. Nah, man. So let's go and grab one of these. I know I've got some in here somewhere. Yeah, I've got some axes. i got axes all over my base. All over my freaking base. But, um, yeah, so pretty much this little guy right here, you pretty much just chop it about like legit that much and it might honestly be less than one unit of wood he might have made it so you just put in any small kind of unit of wood into uh into the blueprint and it'll be done so let me just show you how big of a, of a thing this is so that right there fills it up eight percent but if i had that feature enabled or if, if i had 10 mil for that guys then this wall would have been filled in with that tiny piece of wood I mean, this is game-changing stuff, guys. This is the kind of thing that is going to get me back into regular uploads in Lumber Tycoon 2. So I'm glad that he added this in. Um, and you guys will probably see, like, another weekly kind of video. Or maybe maybe we go back into streaming it again on Sundays or something like that, guys. Um, and I am going to have to do the thing again. So if you guys are kind of like, oh, Midget, I don't know if, if I can do I don't know if that was enough information. I tried I, I tried to keep this a, like, compact video, but also giving you guys all the necessary information and stuff like that. Um 
So uh, maybe, maybe this Sunday coming up, I might have to, uh, I might have to stream it, or maybe this Saturday or something like that, guys. So follow me on Twitter if you guys don't already follow me on Twitter. Links in the description, guys. Follow me on Twitter so you guys know when I go live. Um, and then maybe I'll do a live stream of me doing this whole thing again. So you guys not only can watch this video and figure it out, but if you're still stumped, you can come to the live stream and uh, and I'll show you how to do it again. But um, it, it, it is gonna take some patience guys seriously getting up there with that long planking is gonna be It's gonna be a little bit of a little bit of an issue It'll take you maybe 20 minutes and it'll be kind of frustrating, but you will get it eventually It's really honestly this compared to getting the green box when Saniac and I did the green box that was way harder than this I mean way 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 harder than this so um, if you got the green box before, this is just this is just walking the walking the park for you. So, um, yeah, that is I think gonna do it for today, guys. Again, I don't want this video to be super long. Drop a like on the video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. I, I again, I appreciate Defaultio for actually listening and, and adding something in, dude. I really appreciate it. Seriously, man, I really, really, really appreciate it. But yeah, guys, drop me a comment. Drop me a like on the video if you if you found this helpful or um or. Uh, or, or you liked it or whatever and you got the creative mode. Let me know also in the comments if you guys have actually bought it and gotten it. And let me know how legit it is and all that kind of stuff, guys. But I'm glad this is in. I'm glad we're back in Lumber Tycoon. We're going to be building this base. We're going to be continuing this thing, hopefully. And uh, and making it super, super, super epic with this new kind of feature added in. So, anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today. Enough of me rambling on and on. Be flying. Subscribe if you haven't already, guys. But that is going to do it for today. So, adi freaking host.